Hey everyone, it's Sly47 here. I have Red Gaming Dino and Steve with me right here from Rage. Both of them are joining me for the first tier maker of this tier maker season for 2024, and we are going over the destroyers. How are you doing, Red? Not doing too by myself. Steve? I'm doing good. Nice. All right, so we have the old list in front of us, and I think we have all agreed we are definitely going to come down here and reset it. So we are starting from complete scratch right here. So overall, are you guys ready? I'm ready. <laughs> ready. ready for some sus takes. Let's go. <laughs> Horrible takes. Let's see. Make sure to follow along and let us know in chat where you would put yours. And of course, join up on Discord. We are all going to be talking about tier makers for probably about a month and a half. It's going to get really long. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to deal with it either way. So post up what your takes are on this and the link uh, for the tier maker will be down below. All right. So now we are ready to start here, but we did do make a slight change. So niche is getting moved down a little bit. It was a little bit confusing last year as to what makes a niche ship particularly and everything. So we're going to change it up to be like, hey, this is a ship. It has its moments. It's not always going to be there. Where playable is technically better because it's more equipped for more matches but it just it doesn't prove as well within the meta as the competitive and meta ships do but don't do not disregard the new ships because they do have a specific thing that they do and they do it well because of course we do have the needs fixing category that will be there for you know all the ships that definitely need some help here so our first ship up right here is the bazan brand new ship right off the rip Red, I'm gonna let you take uh, take the the man on this well, one. Well, after playing, I play a decent amount of Bazan. Just just gonna go straight to meta. I mean, there's really not much that can be said. It's just, it's really a truly an amazing destroyer. It's just definitely one of the premiums to get, in my opinion. I I can't suggest it anymore. The the triple burst fire does a nice bit of damage. It's mm -hmm. very comfortable with the Smoke 2 that we've seen and Engine Accelerator. So you have a, yep. a get out of jail free cards and also get out of the you know get out of the area cards right there. They're both very good. Um I borderline this ship is gonna be brought up throughout this entire tier maker because it's gonna push other ships right out of meta for me. At least in my opinion. I think it just takes ships and basically go, why even get them? Because this one just does it better. But um Yeah, it's it's really something else to play, honestly. I I had a lot of fun playing it. Oh, yeah. Steve, do you have any initial thoughts on the Bazan? Um, I'm not sure. I mean, yeah, the skills look good for it. But honestly, yeah. It's a Vogolo clone, so it should probably be pretty good in the meta of killing DDs, you know. That's my initial thought. Oh, yeah. And speaking about DD killers, we have the Attila Vogolo. Now, we actually removed the trick version out of this because in the end, we all kind of agreed it's just such a strong ship. It really doesn't need a trick version because the trick version goes in the exact same position. So we are actually going to be talking about the Attila Regolo, just any version of it. Uh, Steve, I'll uh, let you go first on the Regolo here. Um, yeah, I say Regolo is meta because, you know, tier 10, it's infested, at least for NA. I don't know about other stores. Um, NA, it's DD fest, tons of shimmers, gearings, you know, all kinds of DDs. There's lots of, there's so many DDs always coming out these days, and a lot of people are spamming them. So, Magolo is probably one of the best DD killers at tier ten for all ship classes, but especially DDs. So, just for that alone, that's why I would put it in meta. I don't think Red or I will disagree, even though we just did a video no. recently on it on the entire I mean, grind and talking just... about it. Is really just such it is crippling destroyer. Like when you play Regola, you cripple people with their destroyers, and it still has good torps, well decent enough torps, I should say. And it just has the ability to kill destroyers so fast at tier ten is so game changing because it means that you don't have to worry about a destroyer, and it means that your team doesn't have to worry about a destroyer. It's just it really just it gives you so many wins because of that, and that's kind of what especially in NA you need is you need a lot of destroyer hunters really nowadays to get around simply because of just how many destroyers there are. Oh yeah. And being that they're both, you know, clones of each other, you know, they're one's a clone of the other. Uh, some people might be going, Hey, does the Bazan push the Regola out or anything like that? 
is that I would actually put it as a Bazan's more of that burst, just like, hey, I can wipe out yeah. a DD if at low health, but Regolo is just that consistent DPM capability that it brings to the fight. Yeah, that they is, both are still Regolo, valuable. Regolo has that rapid reload one, right? So it's just, the, the consistency of the sap is just you really can't play around with the guns. Even though you're no gun range, when you are in gun range, the ship guns are just amazing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and you could take uh, engagements more often like you can get out just for a few seconds and come back because your skills are yeah you have a lot of smokes and so now last year we put the black shimikaze in niche <laughs> and i think we all agree that was kind of a suspicious <laughs> dirty after playing that sh after playing it we did that shit dirty all right <laughs> uh, red i'll let you take this one you go I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you. Some will say, "Well, it's just a shim," but nah, this is competitive. This is not just a. This is this is not no normal shimikaze. You have the the fact that this they gave this thing rapid reload two. They give it better base DPM, and they the they give it better concealment. Oh, and it has fuel smoke as well. Yeah, no, this ship's insane when it comes to normal when it compared to normal shimikaze. You have so much more opportunities to do things. You can actually defend against some other destroyers, which is something shimikaze can't really easily do. And you have fuel smoke to YOLO lift, and you still have Shimon Torps, so... There's really no downsides compared to Shimakaze. Oh, yeah, yeah, there's no downsides. I mean, you get 25 seconds. Like, that's pretty much a whole engagement with another DD, like... Um... If still, they're still running away, I mean, you're done with your rapid reload, so it's fine. Or you can start running away after your rapid reload's over, and you don't well, kill the, them, th like, the thing is that with Shimma... The thing about Black Shimma, the beauty of Black Shimma is that because it's, because it's still a Shimma, you still have, like, Shimma's really good HE. So you can just set fires, from a fire, so rubber reload. Yeah, the, the one shot with the Shimakaze, triple fire, and, you know. <laughs> exactly. Like, <laughs> if they survive time, the dwarfs, they're just going to die your guns. Like, that's just the way it works. Oh, yeah. yeah. It, it's surprising. I think we we definitely did do it dirty. Uh, just like there's another DD on here that I'm going to be like, okay, I did that one dirty last year. That was, that was my bad on that one. Um, also, but yeah, Black Shimma gets, gets bonus points. It has a gold camo. Bonus points. That is true. Best looking camo probably in this entire list. Except for lacquer yeah. camo. Lacquer came on high out day, holding up. Yeah, that is true. Lacquer came on pretty yeah, But I would almost say one, one's more like glit, you know, kind of glittery, kind of like, you know, shiny. The other one's just like suave. Like it's yeah. a whole different, like a beautiful. So, okay. Anything else on the Black Shimakaze? No, I think that's pretty fair. I wouldn't rank it high in competitive. I don't think it's like, you know, the, you know, one of, I don't, I don't know if you think it's the best IGN destroyed this year, but, but it is it's very solid. Good yeah, it's it's solid. Yeah, it's it's a much it takes... more complete package compared to Shima. Oh yeah, way more, way more complete. Now, daring. I'm just gonna shove this right in the meta. I have been learning slowly how to play this ship better and better, and it's just like the same Martin. I feel let. I feel like I let it down. That's how much of the skill cannon this is, Steve. Uh, what do you think of the? Yeah, we, I'm daring? gonna let Steve take this over. Guys, <laughs> played the ship a thousand times. Um. Yeah, I mean, I played the ship uh, tons of tons of times. You know, thousands of hours. And like it's it's owned in gold, really. It's a DD that's been around. It's been nerfed, and it's still up there with all the other meta DDs. Which and it's just like it's got everything you need, really, except for speed, which is fine. Um, it just means you need a little bit better positioning. You can't kite yourself out of damage or something like that. But you know, it's the same thing as it's always been. You know, best maneuverability, three sixty guns, uh, hydro level two, fuel smoke, and fire charges. I mean. Can't really beat it. Nope. The only thing that will probably take daring out of meta is a black daring. <laughs> oh my goodness. The, the, like, that's something that doesn't get talked about enough is that people don't realize the fact that daring got nerfed, well, like, once or twice pretty heavily and it's still, like, meta. Like, I don't think people talk about that enough. How yeah, good lost, the ship is despite the nerf. Lost gun range. It lost a uh, level of its skill. It got uh, fuel smoke 2 to fuel smoke 1. Yeah. And I, think still... it got worse, I think it got worse damage on the guns. I mean, obviously, there's DDs that have come out. Like, I wouldn't say Daring's the. Oh, I know Daring's not the best DD anymore. No, it's not the best anymore. No. Uh, like two, three years ago, I managed that it was the best. But there's a lot of DDs that have come out now, like Adonis, just for example. I we can talk about that later. But uh, yeah. Daring's still matter. I mean, it's just go to dodging TVs even without AA, and you can use fuel smokes to dodge TV. That's you know another good thing about yeah. having so many. There's nothing. There's, you can't really hate on Daring. It's just. Yeah, it's one of the. It's it's so old. It's so good. It's got the unique you build a new unique ability that no other destroyers have of being other single fire torps besides vampire, which yeah. is always good. You know, someone could be sitting bow into you, and all the other 
chips in the game will only hit two torpedoes and you can hit 10. So mm -hmm. it's very powerful. Oh, yeah. No, the Darien, the more I learn it, the more it, like, I, I treat it well. That's the the fun skill part I, about it. I, I haven't so played Daring nearly as much as Steve, but yeah, no, the Daring is still like it's a very, very good ship. It's a very yeah. Good ship. Very if you just ship. want to get better at torp drops, it's just you have to do them over and over and over and over again until you learn. Also, it's very good for way. positioning to learn positioning. Yeah. Also, it's a slow good. destroyer that you're kind of forced to learn how to play slow. Oh yeah, and plus yeah. you got great the gr the grind overall is pretty good. The Jervis, the Jutland. Yeah, I'm not once you get once you get to tier six, the grind's pretty easy. Yeah, but like having that amount of torp fire. Uh, torque power at tier seven. Jervis is still top of the tier at tier seven, yeah, and such. And well, Jutland is yeah, pretty kind of darn good. Seven. So it's just, yeah, it's you, you have some great DDs in that line to enjoy. So just skill cannon. Anything else on Daring? No. It, Daring. Okay, let's um let's talk about someone something that I probably overhyped last year. Tell <laughs> me. <laughs> I I um, love this ship. It is fun, but I have to say it's employable. Yeah, it's. I played Delty recently, um, just so I can get ready for this. But um, it's about what I expected. It's not bad, by no means bad. Um, no. The problem is that Delty is very simple, right? It's a very easy, forgiving ship, right? Very easy arcs, very good guns, um, compared to at least to the hybrids, some of the hybrids. Um, yeah, you have decent HP. You have good speed. That is some of the really good things with Delty. Um, but you have torps that hit like absolute duds. They barely hit them harder than Gadon's torps. They're they're they're, um, they're zoning torps. That's all. Yeah, you they have. don't really do it's much. Not... So it's it's basically the safest gunboat you could pick in the game ten if you wanted to like just not have to worry about anything because it's just so easy. Well, the arcs are just just laser accurate. You can yeah, it's land kinda, anything. Like, you, you could want, literally so. just sit in the back of the map of the ship and just shoot HE if you want to. Mm -hmm. But yeah, there's no punishment to it. It needs something. I don't think it needs any support. I think it just should be pushed up on terms of output of damage. Maybe the torp spread a little bit tightened or something, or more, you know, better reload on them or something. Just it needs something to kind of help that damage output because right now Regolo beats it hands down. I know I've gotten a fight with you, Red. And just, on this, this is more rewarding gunboats to be honest. Yeah, with you. yeah. All of the other gunboats, all the other big DDs are just going to destroy it because most of them have an extra toy. Um, yeah, it's eight versus six. I mean, it's just rough. Yeah, although you cannot sleep. You can't. Well, to be fair, though, Donnie still has against the hybrids. It still has pretty good guns because it still has rap reload too. So it's not bad. Yeah, it's yeah. Bad. It's just that it has one less turret. Yeah, but if 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 is... so, it has the range to also beat out a lot of other DDs. It just yeah. doesn't have. Typically, you're going to get into a fight where the other DDs also going to be able to shoot you. So you're you that range advantage doesn't help much. So yeah, exactly. Uh, it needs something. It definitely does. Okay. Um, not to not to potentially skip you again here, uh, Steve. But I think Druid is uh, Red's forte. Yeah, so. Yep. Red, where are you going? Druid. Druid goes in competitive. Um, it's not playable. I mean, Druid's just. I mean, it's kind of hard to mess up Druid. To be quite, unless you're shooting HE, it's pretty hard to mess up Druid. Um, it's one of the easiest destroyers you can play this year. You basically sit bow in. You sit in smoke. And you just shoot AP, and you don't die. Yeah, that's the, that's it. That's it. That's Drew gameplay. That's it. nothing else needs to be said. Um, it's about as simple as it seems. <laughs> yeah. It, you have cruiser health. You can double your HP to 50k throughout the mm -hmm. game with yep. the super heals. You have that's... six exhaust. You have six short burst smokes. You just can sit smoke the whole game. It ain't. It is an AP. Oh, the HE is forget about the HE. It's an AP focused destroyer. Yeah. So it does have the ability to just like it just kind of harass. It just harasses everybody because he doesn't because the HE sucks. Um, it's a good DD hunter. Yes, you, you have sonar. You have decent concealment. You have um, you don't have good turning, but you do have pretty good acceleration. Only thing that ties acceleration for you, I think, is vampire too. Um, yeah. so it is pretty good acceleration despite being slow. Um, it can harass. Dude, I love playing Druid against Malens. I can't. It's actually a guilty pleasure. That is. What true. are they supposed to do against you? What are they, what, what are they gonna do? Kill me? Nah, I'm gonna heal that back. <laughs> like, it's it's a really fun ship against uh Smolens and Minotaur, but. It's just, it's a just solid so it is, boring. It's the pro so... only problem with Druid is that the only problem with Druid is that you have kind of the Ragnar problem where you lack torps. Um, so you kind of like take forever to kill things sometimes, <laughs> especially battleships. It takes you a while yeah, to kill a battleship. I think most people might struggle with Druid because a lot of people just play DD because they just want to YOLO with torpedoes at least yeah. some point in the battle. But Druid, you know, there's no YOLOing. You're just staying. It, there's no YOLOing, good. although to be fair, Druid's a lot. Easier and not to not die in as long as you don't get broadside and something. I guess something. You should I was actually, actually going to say that PSA to everyone: if you're playing the druid, don't show your broadside. 
Yeah, I have seen have too many knowledge. of them showing broadside. I'm like, but but why? Find find a rock, stay on the rock. <laughs> That's your rock now. It's Marseille's yeah. tactics. This is my rock. There are many like. Only, the only difference is that on like um, <laughs> the only difference is that um, if someone jumps you, you can't really do anything because you don't really have the DPM to kill a battleship at that range. But that's besides the point. Yeah, you could. It's it's also very good at open water just because it can just sit out there in smoke. Yeah, you can just kind of show it there. As long as you're not getting cross. The, the yeah. only downside of open water is you can get crossfired and well, you're kind of screwed. You can't really run. Yeah, but sometimes so, you can position yourself well to do. No, that. yeah, but there's some nuances. Yeah, Steve, do you have anything on on it? Uh, no, but I've never played it. I mean, I've won v one Dino like numerous times. It's there's very few DS that can beat it. Just like Rogolo, Clubeo. Takes a lot to beat a Druid. Maybe. You need like a pretty fast destroyer to kill the Druid. You need something that can yeah, rush it. because the only way you can kill it is by you cannot. You, you cannot sustain an open water fight with that thing with with just guns. It's not gonna happen. Yeah, because the there's the moment Druid spawns you with voices, it can kill anything pretty much before it reaches yeah, it's it. No, nothing is well besides one destroyer. Nothing's gonna really out heal it. So yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. It's it, it, the whole reason why Druid like isn't in meta is because it doesn't have torpedoes. It's not going to hold up. Yeah, you in, don't you don't have a media. You don't have a media alpha. That's the problem. No. It's just super tanky. It it you could argue niche. I think some people could argue niche definitely in that way, but it's just so damn good of a niche at at right now or yeah in this meta I should say that it's incompetitive. It's a DD hunter, automatically going to be very good. Yeah, oh, exactly. Yeah. All right, so <clears throat> I'll take Elbing because I don't. I, I just I love this little bugger. Um, so I want to go to competitive if you have the leg mod in certain circumstances. But there's certain circumstances that then you really want that range for playable. But then it's really nice on DPM to have the leg mod, but not have the leg mod. To have that, uh, it's just a niche. It is. It is a niche DD because yeah, it is a cruiser that's hunter. So fortunate. Can we pass this on to Alistair for the cruiser tier maker? Can we yeah, pass exactly. on to Alistair? I'll pass they it on to Alistair. Come on, Alistair. Come we'll on, Alistair. Yeah. You take Elvin, we take Genon. That's a fair trade. Exactly, I think that's a pretty yeah, fair, fair trade. trade. <laughs> it's a pretty fair trade, honestly. Yeah, no, Elbing, I love it. It is a fun little thing, but is there are certain games, especially with the high DD matchmaking right now, it can be frustrating to play, and then there's other times where it just can The problem nothing. with Elbing is not the fact that the ship is necessarily bad. It's just the fact that the ship's purpose is so specific. Like, you're, you're here to hunt cruisers, you're here to harass the battleships. It is decent against some destroyers, but um, the fact that you overpin a lot of things kind of hit. I mean, sometimes you do, sometimes you don't, but it's just, I don't know. As a, as hey, a destroyer... Doesn't really work as a destroyer. As a cruiser, it's a great cruiser, but yeah, it is. A great, it, it's it's out of this. It's not meant for this tier maker, really. Yeah. But I even mean, as a cruiser, it would be competitive. I'd say. Yeah. You was, well, like, you have no Citadel as a cruiser. Like that's amazing. Yeah, yeah exactly. No Citadel. no Citadel as a cruiser. That's amazing as a cruiser. Oh. <laughs> and you always gotta love the torpedoes that occasionally you're just like, all of a sudden you get torpedo hits and you're like, wait, I sent those out. Wow, those are still going. <laughs> Yeah, that was also fun playing Elving and like outranging like Austin and Genon. It's pretty funny when you do that. Oh yeah, oh yeah. But it, I I almost did a trick to Elving just because realistically it works. It just gives an insane DPM increase. But there's certain games that I'm just like I feel like a T Rex where I'm like I can't. It's fun shit though. It. it is definitely one of the fun. It is probably the most enjoyable of all the niche destroyers. We probably get to. So. Oh yeah. And once you get past yeah. the Gustav, the Felix, I have, I, I actually would love to have a Elbing like or a Felix at tier ten that's buffed up to like Elbing and have it be a black Elbing or something like that, or you know, kind of change it Felix up. Felix was fun because that would Felix be fun, fun. Yeah, Felix is a whole different playstyle. It's a completely different ship. More aggressive, in my opinion. way more aggressive. Elbing's all for the just you know kite and just get citadels. So the, yeah, the problem is that Elving's pretty slow. So like the moment you face like a fat, like a high D, like if you face Rogolo at close range, it's kind of wraps. But any DD in that situation, outside of maybe Bazan, is just screwed at that point. Anyways, yeah, there's not many DDs that can. Well, I mean, there's a lot of high DPM DDs that can face each other, but Elving, even with a high HP, it's just yeah. you overpinning everything. Anything else on Elving? No, I think that's it. Uh, Alistair, I... come take your Elving. <laughs> No, I'll take it. I, I, I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm covering. Oh, I'm covering. Is, this what I, is this what I think it is? The next destroyer? Oh, yeah. This is the next one. This this one this. came out, and I think I can speak for all three of us, but I'm going to. You're letting Steve take this one? Yeah, I'll let Steve take part of this one over. Okay. I, I Steve, agree? No, you got to put that in top of meta, but you got to put that yeah, this all is, the way to the top. <laughs> I was going to say. I was going to say. Oh, okay. So we're actually we're ranking in, no, no, in the that, middle that, of that's things. That's staying up there. That, no, uh, nothing's about yeah. that. Okay, Gdansk but, is top meta. 
Yeah, Gdansk is king. There's nothing that even comes close to matching it. It's like, I'd say Gdansk is like 15k average above everything else in the game. Yep. Like, DD-wise, I mean. Like, bro, it's just... The HE full pinning is just outrageous. You wouldn't expect... Like, when, when you think of HE DPM, you don't... You have to drop it way lower on most ships because that's all half pins, but Gdansk, it's all full pins, so that DPM is actually not that unrealistic. It's just nuts. I mean, you rack up damage so fast with, you know, high flooding torps and the fire chance is so good. It's honestly illegal. I don't even know how it's... <laughs> how it <laughs> the, no, the best it's, way I, it's I can back. describe Gdansk, it's unfair, man. It is unfair to face a good Gdansk. It really is. But it's thing, it's held yeah. back by two things, and that's the one yeah. reason that prevents it from being OP. And I know some people will say sometimes it is OP, but it doesn't have AA, and the torpedoes are short range. I almost forgot the second. Well, one. yeah, like short the torpedo torpedoes. short range is um that is very. Good it is a little hard. Yeah. yeah, it is a little hard to walk around that. You have to get a lot closer, and you're a big DE, so it's easier to get hit now. Well, the other problem mm -hmm. is that Gadans is like probably. Probably the biggest destroyer and probably the highest out of the water destroyer in all these destroyers. Yeah, it's like it's not the third. Yeah, that's true. It's the third. Yeah, it's not the least believable. But it is very easy to clip a Gdansk. It is very easy. I haven't really found myself getting hit much. I've just more or less found it where I'm like, crap. All I have is my guns that are working right now. Like I'm like, I need to get those torps out in order to get that little extra flooding and like that. You know. So yeah, it's but like, that's my, with, my thing. The only issue with Gadans is that if you're not paying attention to what you're doing and you're just kind of like chilling broadside and smoke, you know, most DDs, you're like, I don't have a Citadel, right? I'm not going to really care. If you get broadside of some random Hindenburg in Gadans, it's not going to be a fun time for you. That's all I'm going to say. It's Heck, not going to be Vermont. a fun time for you in Gadans. It's like Holland. Yeah, you will get honestly. clipped by a Vermont. In, it's with way the worse than Gadans. Gadans is so much easier to hit than Holland. Is Unless the Gadans is kiting you with 46 knots, it's really easy to hit smoke. <laughs> it's really easy to hit smoke. I mean, it does have the worst detection of all DDs. But that like, also does not help your situation. Although, it does make up for it by having is, the dumb combo. Yeah, yeah you have that's the, the thing, radar, is it? So, like, if you have spot you, as soon as you're spotted, you can just hit radar like, It's actually dumb. The fact that Gdansk can literally get outspotted, smoke, radar, dead, destroyer. Nothing they can do about it. Like, what are, like, what are you supposed to do? Like, there's nothing yeah, you can do about it. Yeah, the are so you're... fast, they can reach a DD before the DD even turns around. Have... Your HE DPM matches Rogolo SAP DPM, by the way. But, yeah, I know that's what I'm saying. It's right. ridiculous DPM. Like, God forbid you put I have HE on it. You set triple fire with the fires in the destroyers because you're still using HE. Like it's ridiculous <laughs> with the dusted destroyers. It's not okay. Really fair, okay, actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna combat that thing. My fire chance on the Gadans is dog. I I get an average of like five to six fires. I'm still doing like 80k. Oh, okay. I'm still doing oh, a good no. amount of damage. But oh, my no, fires, I'm like, no, no, good. I don't get fires. I don't get fires at all. Okay, here's the thing though, like. I still average 100k. That's all cool, I was gonna bring this up. Like, just not even not counting fires. Like the actual gun, the Dude, damage Gdans, from the gun itself. Dude, doesn't even need, need fires to get damage. That's how good the damage. Is out yeah, it doesn't even need fires. Like the fires the, is bonus. Fires is bonus. <laughs> yeah, but like the just the gun damage itself, it's easy 90k, 100k. Like Honestly. the Dino, I remember for a while he was trying to do 100k with go uh, gun damage. Bro, like, like he was consistently Gadans. dropping 90k HE damage. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Gdansk is it's easy 100k gun damage. It's just crazy. Oh, yeah. But you'd say Gdansk is the best DD in, in the game right now. Yeah, for sure. I would argue it yes, is, no, it's 100%. the king. It is, it is the best destroyer in the game. And it's free. Yep. yep. Except exactly. for your sanity after playing the Lambrosk. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna lie. I, I grinded Lambrosk in service three times and respawn so for three different accounts and i was a bit i i was forced to start liking it it was it's, it's a place all you have to do i mean yeah it's unique it's very I mean, unique look, when i grinded lambros um i was playing with level 12 swirsky there was no way i was playing that without level 12 swirsky there was just no way oh yeah i was not playing with swirsky i was playing with i was playing with level 12 swirsky if i didn't play I level 12 swirsky i might have gone insane yeah <laughs> Yeah, that grind, that grind. At least the split's pretty solid. The Grom's amazing. Grom's it's OP. Uh, tier nine. Yeah, Grom is OP. Grom is OP. I can't wait to. I can't wait to talk about that one with tier seven. All right, I, are we good on Gdansk? We're good on Gdansk. Yeah. All right, perfect. Gearing. Who wants to take this one? I'll take gearing. I haven't played. I I, I played it a bit recently. Like I said, I played a lot of these DDs recently for the tier maker. Okay. But gearing in um playable. I don't want to put it in competitive, um, only because it's a lot harder to maintain competitive and gearing when you have like 
a million gumboats competing with you, it's it's kind of hard. In game. Like I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> you yeah, have a lot of gumboats nowadays. It's gotta be in high. It's gotta be in high playable. It's a high. It's a yeah. high playable. I would definitely say it's a high playable. Um, I think um, gearing and playable will make more sense later when you see all the ships in competitive. Yeah, like right now, you might the, not be so. A lot of these DDs, like just gumboats, are dominating the game right now, and it's yeah. not. Yeah, exactly. Um, and the gearing is more of a good hybrid. Now, but... You pretty much need to be a very, very good high DPM to shore. Which is something gearing isn't. Yeah, it's just it's got gearing's... guns, it's got torpedoes. It's the both kind of just gearing. Just just the... Gearing is the it's like DD. Deli. It's a very gearing is like yeah, exactly. very, It's very easy, very easy to use. Good introduction to its class. Yeah, yeah. It's it gearing seems... is the most solid DD in this game, and I could I could say borderline competitive, but at, yeah, I I could see borderline competitive, but like honestly, the ship's just so simple. It's just really nothing. Yeah. Nothing else yeah, there's too, nothing too, but it's good simple. Like, there's nothing the wrong with it. It's not, it's not a bad. I don't yeah. think it's a bad. Yeah. Simple. I enjoy playing gearing when I play it. I think it's a very fun ship. But so when I played over all the competitive or meta DDs, probably not. Yeah, yeah. that's the thing. Like when True. when you see all the competitive and the meta ships in there, you're like gearing's kind of like there's just no point. And then everything yeah. else does its job better in one way or another. Yeah. Look, at least it's not the other. At least it's not his Russian counterpart. It's got that going for it. <laughs> True. True, definitely. Let's uh, let's talk about the Russian counterpart. Oh man, this thing can go straight into knees fixing. I don't want to hear any arguments from anybody. Mm -mm. This thing can sit there sad by well, not by itself, but it can sit there sad. Oh yeah. I I had a mother's love for it for a little bit. I have the camp, the special camo for it, and everything. And I think it is overall a good DD. That just so, why so, when you look at everything else, like so it's, that's useless. the problem. How it's, is it such a decent ship yet so useless? Yeah, exactly. It's just like you feel held back, just like Marseille. It's like you literally are like, I I know I can do more, but the ship's not letting you. It's not that. Like, how is it a struggle to get 100k in the ship? Come on, yeah. I have Russian DD guns. Like, how is it my? I'm I'm playing Russian. I'm playing a Russian DD with three smokes. This should not be like this. This does not be a struggle. Well, the the main thing that yeah. I I think this is is that for me. You could easily get 100k in Udaloy. The thing is, this is a well, yeah. It's just a straight downgrade right. from that. Udaloy so like... gets a phase tier eights. Udaloy gets to play ranked. Udaloy has more torps. Um, like, but why would I play Girls Away? Yeah, it's why. Yeah, so... the, the buff they gave to a ship we're going to talk about later is what they showed on the Girls Away, which was a torpedo reload booster. And why they Honestly. wasted that on a different ship, I don't Honestly. know. Maybe they can give it to Girls Away too as well. But... Well, there's another ship that needs to reload booster, but we'll get to that. In a minute. Yeah, and yeah, I think Growth Void, in my opinion, the minimum it should get as a mobility buff. This the second Please, thing it should be why? is, why is it, it needs so... to get it needs to basically why? become the gun focused gearing. It needs to be super solid, yes. just work well. Keep, keep um, gearing but... as the more torp focused version of it because gearing is very good torps, but this thing I don't know, this thing is out yeah. torps. And gearing's got the leg mod for torpedoes. Yep. So well the growth void also does. And it does. It help turns it. the torps into decent. I won't. Yeah. It turns the torps decent, but like, it's just, I feel like the leg mod is wrong. It just doesn't feel right for the ship. Mm -mm. I think yeah. they went the wrong route with the torp. I, I feel like almost the gross void needs to be like insane gun range or something like that. Something similar almost to Kaba with leg mod. Like, just... I, I, like, why does this thing maneuver like I'm playing a big destroyer? I'm playing a hybrid. I should not be maneuvering like a Gdansk. This makes yeah. sense. 